Hi, and welcome to Nightchild Reviews. Yesterday, on May 17th, Ingrid Chavez, who for me is one of the most remarkable creative energies I've ever experienced, an artist who mixes ethereal poetry, sublime drum beats, hauntingly beautiful artwork, and the ability to seductively strip away your emotional walls like an angel with a message, released her remarkable new album, Memories of Flying, which includes the haunting You Gave Me Wings a stunning tribute to Prince. And whilst I'm working on a review, I'm going to do something I very rarely do and simply read you an email that Ingrid released on the launch of this project. An open letter, if you will, one of emotional honesty, love, poetry, and a beautiful insight into the world of the spirit child. I will intersperse Ingrid's words with short clips from the album and the song titles. The album is available from many sources and there are all the links you could desire underneath this video. Please, please check out the video for all the love in the world, in which Ingrid utilised so many amazing photographs sent in by her admirers and created a moving and celebratory video that will quite simply melt your heart. To be frank, nothing I could say would match the words of the artist, Ingrid Chavez. So here are Ingrid's words. My review will follow in a few days. Memories of flying, a life in song. By now, my life is measured out in songs. Memories of flying is but the latest chapter of an ongoing story of love, loss, self-discovery and self-reflection. I started writing this album four years ago. I had hopes that there would be a second Black Eskimo album with Marco Valentin. But as time passed and no new music was being written between us, I began to realise that maybe it was time for me to focus on a new solo album. My initial idea was to create an ambient bed of music for me to record spoken word over, to get back to where I started, me alone in my world with a synthesizer. There is still a place and time for that record, but as it turned out, this was not it. There were so many moments that went into this new collection of songs. Many things happen in one's life in four years. I moved from the home that I shared with my ex-husband, David Sylvian, and where the children grew up. Black Eskimo fell apart. If anyone has ever been in a band and written an album together, you would know. It is like losing family. Prince left this earth, and with his passing, a reconnection with my musical home, Minneapolis, was opened up to me, propelling me forward on the journey of making this album. Many old relationships mended and renewed and many beautiful new relationships kindled. Somewhere in all of this motion, Memories of Flying was written and born. Memories of flying, now you're just running, afraid to commit. Ingmar Bergman asked the question, isn't art always, to a certain extent, therapy for the artist? When I search for the common thread that runs through all of my music, no matter who I collaborate with, there was always a bit of soul searching and self inquiry. There were also the songs that are open letters that have become a writing style for me. I met Prince on December the 1st, 1987. As bold as I was as a young woman, I felt insecure and overwhelmed falling into his world unprepared. The record that we wrote together, May 19th, 1992, questions everything that was around me that winter. There is a naivety and rawness that can be heard and felt in the words and my delivery. The swiftness with which Prince moves through people, mining for gold and then moving on, is life-changing in the way that a tornado is. You'll be left to question your resilience as a person, as a woman and as an artist. One thing I can say about this is, I was an artist before Prince, he did not make me. Having said that, in the brief time that we worked together, he helped me to gain the confidence that I lacked and helped me to find my voice. And for that, I'm eternally grateful to him. After a 12 year retreat from the music business, with only a handful of songs written in that time, 
A flutter and some words was born out of the pain of my marriage to David coming to an end. Once again, I threw myself into writing, navigating my way back to the centre from where I could begin again through songs. I was reminded of how my soul is soothed through the process. That album is so rich and deep and brings tears to my eyes to listen to it now. Lorenzo Scopoletti brought me back to my words through his music and eye for beauty, and Alessandro Mazzitelli is responsible for the production and sound of that album. I know how important A Flutter and Some Words is to people who have loved it, who discovered it when it was released in 2010. I also know how important May 19th, 1992 was and still is for people who discovered it 30 years ago. It seems as if each new record finds its own heart connection to the people who need it. As an artist, I have no intention of ever repeating myself. It means that not everyone loves everything I do. That is the price I pay to continue to grow as an artist, as a writer and as a person. Robert Frost said, No tears in the writer, no tears in the reader. No surprise in the writer, no surprise in the reader. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, we're snowblind. When I moved from Temple, where I'd lived for 12 years, I entered a dark period as Black Eskimo was falling apart. Memories of flying started to seed. I moved back into that place where I knew I needed to be reset to let this new collection of songs find their way. Memories of Flying opens with the title track, It Begins Where Black Eskimo Ends. The songs on this album move back and forth between darkness and light. I have never been afraid to dive deep into the shadowy parts of who I am, knowing that there was always a pinhole of light falling in just enough for me to find my way back. This Karaskoro life is where I dwell, in this fearless dance between shadow and light. This is where I write from and it is present in all of my work. The last line of the first song, Memories of Flying, co-written with Marco Valentin, beckons the listener to wake up, remember how it felt to fly. The last line of the last song, Driving to the End of a Dream, co-written by Marco Valentin and David Hearn, says when I saw the light, I knew I was awake. The dream has ended. It's important to me, when putting together an album, that there be some opening, like a gate, and then there must be some closure, the journey complete. Time stood still for a little while. Every time I saw you smile. There are a few songs that are like open letters. You Gave Me Wings, written with Ganja and produced by Mashti. All the Love in the World and Light Rays, produced by Mashti. And I Wonder You, co-written and produced by Peter Moosebrink of Deep Dive Core. These are very personal. You Gave Me Wings is especially important to me as it was written on the day that Prince passed away. It speaks of that winter that we spent at Paisley Park in a creative bubble, or more like a snow cave. I can see a soul in its rays. Light Rays is one of my favourite tracks on the album and seems to sit perfectly next to You Gave Me Wings. Into the Blue is a meditation on going inside, letting go, shining light in darkness. This song is the lighter version of the opening track, Memories Are Flying. This is another deep dive core collaboration. Although Black Eskimo is on hold, Marco Valentin is very much a part of this record, having co-written and produced almost half the album. Snowblind was initially just a phone recording of Marco walking in the icy snow in New Hampshire. He put a deep, dirty drum and bass beat on it and sent it to me. The final version that appears on the album was produced by Mashti and Peter. Don't wipe your eyes dry, don't you cry, don't you cry. Gold, in its way, another song with Marco, really captures that feeling of the last warm days of autumn before winter sets in. Calling out the thunder and let the healing begin, find me looking back at my younger self, 
reflecting on the creative and spiritual road that led me to who I am now. These two songs were written with Charles Webster and mixed and produced by Marco. Let the Healing Begin, the penultimate track, was written on a solo drive from Jacksonville, Florida to Orlando. I was reconnecting with my past and a lot of stuff was coming up. It speaks about how the journey to here is not always easy. We all hurt sometimes, but if we can hold on to this light that guides us, we can forgive ourselves and others. This is where the healing begins in forgiveness and self-love. Like I was driving The album ends with an excerpt from a poem written by Jean-Michel Basquiat. I've only ever heard it at the end of an art film called Downtown 81. I have no idea what his title was for the piece, but I named it Driving to the End of a Dream. In the film, Jean-Michel takes us on a tour of the village art and music scene in New York City in the early 1980s. And at the end of the film, he is driving through the empty streets of the city. The sun is about to rise and the voiceover is him speaking a poem over music. There are a few periods in time that I wish I could have experienced, one being the Paris art scene, 1930s to 40s, and then New York City, mid 70s, mid 80s. I have watched Downtown 81 a few times now. I returned to it for inspiration during the writing of this album. I often turn to film for inspiration. When I heard his words at the end of the film, I knew they were the words that would bring this album, Memories of Flying, to a close. I drove through the night and into the day like I was driving to the end of a dream and when I saw the light I knew I was awake and it was good. In conclusion I want to say thank you to all of you who have taken this journey with me. I write these songs because it soothes my soul to put these words to music. I hope it does the same for you. I want to thank Michael Abraham Pearson who has been on this journey with me since the very first album. I did not know him personally until he came to see Black Eskimo perform in a little small town pub in New Hampshire. But I have known him since he was a 17 year old boy living in Alabama. He contacted my management to ask how he could help bring my Paisley Park record, May 19th, 1992, to more people. We sent him a box of singles and remixes and a promotional photo of me. Years later, upon the release of a flutter and some words, he got back in touch with me. And now here we are, 29 years later, bringing memories of flying to you. A special thank you to Jackie Thompson for making this ship of two a ship of three. Your experience, drive and positivity has really helped get this record moving in the final stretch. Thank you for believing me as an artist and being part of this creative. It was you who requested my participation in the first PRN Alumni Foundation event that started a chain of events that reconnected me to my Minneapolis family. So much has happened since then. It created a solid foundation for this record. The future looks exciting with you on board. The future looks exciting. To the musicians and fellow artists who have been a part of my musical journey, thank you. It would not be the same without you. Each of you in your own unique way have brought out the song in me. Your names are etched in my heart. Mark Wallace, thank you for understanding and loving the woman I am and the artist in me. You came when I needed you most. Tinondra, Amira and Isabel, it is never easy being the child of artist parents, but your love and patience has helped me to find that balance, not always perfect, to continue being that which I was born to be, your mother and an artist. I love you all deeply. I hope you all find a place in your heart for this new collection of songs. I am not done. I feel no less alive and creative as I did 30 years ago. I'm excited to see what's next. So on the day of the release of Memories of Flying, I leave you with these words. Walk with me, Ingrid. Calling out the thunder. So here I stand at the end of this road. One long dream. Alive at night and forgot by day. I've no maps, no plans, no sleight of hand, just blind faith. Something will give soon. The clouds will part and I will find my way once again by the light of a golden moon. When the day is done, I'm the only one who can break this spell I'm under. I'm the only one. I can remember something of myself, who I was in the dream of angels, what it felt like to be weightless and winged. Magic was everywhere and love was everything. 
nothing was impossible when I was young. A broken heart was just a song to be sung. I can remember the long, lonely nights writing it down, trying to hold on to the feeling just long enough to put it to sound. I wanted to feel, I wanted to fall, in and out of everything and everyone. I wanted it all. When the day is through, I'm the only one who can call out the thunder. I'm the only one who can break this spell. I'm under. I'm the only one. I just needed a quiet space and a little time to myself. I need to go deep, go back to the sea where gravity has less pull on me. When the day is done, I'm the only one who can break this spell I'm under. I'm the only one. I'm the only one.